Okay, we are on Facebook Live. So first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody who are hearing these words. This is Baba Sharon, also known as Reverend Sharon Elizabeth. And uh, I am a little horse. Yes, I am. Uh, but because uh, I actually have had on the way out COVID-19. And, you know, this is all I want to say. And I had this special message is that I have always found that when you need to show up or to do something that's really important, you know, there's always going to be those challenges. We all have them. And particularly if you're on a conscious spiritual path, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Real important things or benchmarks, uh, things that are important that somehow you're involved in that and to move that forward, there's always going to be the challenges. And you know what I would want to say, I was saying before, you know, that sometimes when we have important things to say, we talk about the light and to trigger each other and remember who we are. Okay, of course, we're going to have the those counter forces that may not want that because we become aware that we're a part of a much bigger story, much bigger. It's like, wait a second. I was like the Truman story. If those of you remember the Truman story and that's where, you know, this guy is like in a, he's actually like in a play. He's being observed by uh, a greater audience of people that he has no idea about because he was born into this environment. And then slowly but surely, he started to figure out some things just weren't right. It didn't make any sense. And uh, for those of you that see the Truman Show, it's been out now from a long time ago. But it is something, and there's many shows like it, that really talks about awakening, waking up out of the stupor, out of the dream, and so forth. And then you begin to realize, like, wait a minute, there's a much bigger story in the and somehow I'm part of that story and I need to wake up and remember, remember, like, what is this story? Because there's a part of us, you know, that agreed uh, that we would come into this world of forgetfulness. And it takes a moment uh, to kind of recapitulate uh, your journey or your continued journey. Uh, that many of us have been here more than once, you know, along this commitment of remembering the whole light to the planet, uh, remembering that there was some sort of cosmic or divine agreement. And this agreement uh, was a result of our capacity to hold love, unconditional love, absolutely unconditional love. Okay, the compassionate heart, the saying we feel for those who are suffering or those that are having experiences that would cause them fear, okay, that those energies that, okay, they may have on some level some sort of learning experience to move us forward, but also to, there is the memory that there are those worlds and those realities that you don't have to go through that, you know, and continually going over and over and over again. So there's those of us who have come, and ideally, uh, there's many of us, hopefully most of us, and ideally all of us that remember who we are. Sometimes we don't. We have to come back and like, I think I was supposed to do something or it requires that kind of courage, you know, to say, you know, I know I'm the only one standing out here in this group of people and the rest of the group of people may think I'm crazy, you know, but guess what? We're in good company. There are people who thought Jesus was crazy and Buddha was crazy and other, you know, great avatars that they were in the minority of a particular thinking, you know, and so it required them also to have the courage to persevere, but then look at the reward that came from that. So I want to talk about a little bit about moving into 2023. Where are we as a humanity and what are we doing moving forward? First of all, I want to say I am optimistic. I'm optimistic in that I most certainly have seen benchmarks along the way that all light workers and people of good hearts who really do care about the world and for people and for all life, okay, would like to see the end of suffering, the end of war, the end of abuse, the end of, you know, of all kinds of things, of power, of imbalances and so forth. I don't have to tell you what that is. You already know. 
We would like to see the end of that, ideally, you know, sooner than later. Uh, why is it that we have, you know, a biology, okay, that only lasts, man, if you can make it to 100, you're doing good, but you know, as soon as you get it figured out, you know, it's like, you got to start all over again. Like, wait a minute, you know, I'm just beginning to understand the bigger story. And then, you know, the body is like, okay, time's up. Not necessarily that was the case. If you go back and you read the ancient scripts that that's not how it used to be. This idea of Shambhala, this idea of peace and those things somehow it may be hidden deep, but it's within our DNA because we have a resonance to it. It makes sense. Then we come into this world and we're like in shock. We're like, oh my gosh, what kind of place is this? Okay, and then it forces you, it forces you to say, none of this is making sense. None of it makes sense until, and it puts you as a seeker of truth. And then you have to investigate. You have to figure out what's going on. And many, many times we are environments, whether they be in families or schools or the smaller community, you find yourself in. They're like, what are you talking about? You know, but this is what my message is for 2023. All of us have the God given right to be our authentic selves, that we are a unique creation. And our uniqueness and what we're able to contribute and be is tied into you personally. We're part of a collective, but it also requires each part of that collective to come into their fullness of potential and alignment of their authentic selves. Their higher self is their authentic self. And when we begin to kind of tap in a little bit as to, you know, why is the universe acting the way it is or, you know, what seems to be these challenges and what's going on. And, and it's a whole mix of different things, most certainly. But ultimately, the universe is trying to push us into the remembering of what we are, who we are and that we are divine creation. Actually, our creation is from the highest of aeons. You know, we are from the Adam Kathmand or from Zion or whichever name you want to do it, but it's way beyond the creational level of this little earth. Okay, we are in the earth, but we're not of it. So for 2023, no matter what challenges are coming your way, and I had mentioned this before, and I want to mention it again. You always see yourself as being victorious. You know, my voice is the way it is right now. So I mentioned, yeah, I contracted COVID. Okay, did I want to? No. Okay, and but I know that no matter what, you know, here I am in this place and I've been doing, you know, following the path the best I could in my way. I already know I'm victorious. I know that I'm blessed beyond measure. I don't know whatever journey I need to do as to why or how, but I know I'm going to get there. And there's always a silver lining. There's always a blessing somehow. The thing is to keep on moving on, already knowing that you're victorious. You may have to maneuver. You may have to change course a bit. You may have to make some adjustments. Okay, but... The goal is you are on your divine path. You will continue on your divine path. And when you do that, I don't care what challenges come up your way, you are shown the way. Your divine intervention comes in to support you. The universe comes in to support you. You know, today I woke up and I'm like, wow, I have a voice or I didn't have a voice just a couple of days ago because it was important for us to meet together as the family of light and do this little contribution we do every Monday for 16 years. It is one among many, many, many other things that light workers are doing towards the contribution to the ascension of this beautiful planet. That's what we signed up for. And so we already know that we're gonna be victorious because we didn't incarnate here to fail. No, no. And we're going to come in here and no matter how many lifetimes it takes, okay, we're going to fulfill our divine assignment. 
So I want to say for 2023 to each and every one of you that are listening to this, I don't care what's going on in your life and things coming out of left field, things that you don't expect, okay? Or you could have the greatest plans and they're not moving as great as you thought they were. Or there could be something like, wow, I'm going to change the plan because I have to make these adjustments to move forward. Whatever it is, you are already victorious. You have to remember that because you remember who you are. And you are a magnificent spiritual being of life that comes from a very, very high aeon. And it's you to wake up and help to wake up others as we wake up each other out of the stupor, out of this dream to re-remember the magnificence of who we are and what we're here to do to support all life on this planet. And in fact, beyond this planet, okay, into its ascension, into its great calling of the divine sacred in-breath to all beings. So with that, I want to say happy, happy new year for 2023. There's going to be lots of stuff going on in 2023, but let me just say this. We impact a lot by our choices, how things are going to unfold. So I'm going to challenge everybody. Let's think the best. Let's do the best and let's expect the best for 2023. Namaste, Family of Life on Facebook Live.